Oh, yeah. Beer gifts. Bradford. May the God of hope sleep on them. Bless you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Amen. And for bringing me this delicious breakfast. We're at the Raleigh Durham International Airport. International Airport. Headed to LaGuardia, which is New York. And that's where we're gonna stay. And then to Madison, Wisconsin. Where we will be taking a rental vehicle to Sparta, Wisconsin. Home of McPherson Guitars. Bradford is going to have a difficult time fitting into this, I predict. So for all of you who constantly comment that Bradford makes every guitar look like a ukulele, he does the same to airplanes. <laughs> it doesn't look like a ukulele, though. <laughs> you do not fit in this. <laughs> Gosh. To give you an update on what has happened, we uh, got to the airport. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the We're looking at any people getting settled with. We got to uh, the airport in Raleigh, Durham at time 5:30 in the morning. Yeah. Checked in, got through security. We got to our gate. They boarded. We got up to board, and like our passes said, this person is not on this flight. And so uh, they looked it up on the computer right there, and it was like they had completely changed all of our flights and overnight. They canceled something. They canceled a connection flight. So we were supposed to go through New York and then get to Madison, Wisconsin, which is a few hours from Sparta or McPherson. So Delta customer service helped us, and they changed our flights. So we went, we're in Minnesota right now. So we flew from. Raleigh Durham to Minnesota, and now we are flying from Minnesota to La Crosse on one of the smallest airplanes I've ever been on. Oh, I've been on smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. But uh, it's a regional flight, so that's what's going on. And we're going to get there early afternoon. So it's not too bad. But it's been it's been a bit of a day. I'm exhausted already. Me too. Unboxing. An unboxing, yes. Uh, McPherson at McPherson. <laughs> oh! Yes, angels sing. Yes. Look at let that. the hummingbirds fly out there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we saw in there. Yep, that's, that's a tiger insane. stripe myrtle.
right, so we're recording. Recording. So this is Bradford's uh, instrumental take one. Listen to this tiny guitar that sounds so big. Let's play it, Bradford. The thing is awesome. All right. What's on that? Hold on, hold on. John Mayer's gonna kill our YouTube channel now. Returned from the, uh, the the cold. It wasn't actually that cold. It wasn't from the north, from Wisconsin. We're back home in North Carolina. We, we, we gotta say the name. It's Sparta. Yeah, we went. This to is Sparta. Yes, that's where McPherson is located, in Sparta, <laughs> Wisconsin. Uh, first of all, we would just love to say thank you to McPherson for having us out. Uh, thank they you very really, much. They really took care of us. They, um, yeah, we got to see the factory where they built the stuff and. Uh, that's I'll an say, understatement. You kind of just threw that out there. This is the factory where they build stuff. <laughs> if you you just watched it, like yeah. meticulous. Well, you saw some, you saw some shots saw of some. it. But I'll say this before we talk about the guitars and how they build them and stuff. They are like the the nicest people there. They're very kind. Very you know, great. The McPherson, the guitar company, um, is is it's not like a huge company, and it's very like feels like a family. And everyone you know we interacted with. Um, boy, we just really got enjoyed getting to know uh, the people there and just hanging out with people there. Yeah. And so let's talk about the guitars. So I posted on Instagram and Facebook the other day that it's like, the, it, it's the best sounding in playing acoustic guitar I've ever played, like by a that lot. That I've ever played as well. It's not even close. Not even close. Um, and they are, and now they are expensive. Like mm -hmm. the wood guitars, you're talking nine, ten plus thousand dollars for a guitar. But when you see how they're built and you get to experience what it's like to play one, you start to understand and appreciate why they ask that much for them. Yeah. Everything is perfect mm -hmm. with their guitars. And it takes, what is it, what do they say? It takes six to nine months to build one acoustic guitar. That seemed to be on the short end too. Yeah. They say like, you know, they, when you put an order in, they're like, okay, well, you know what, it's ready. Yeah. And some people would be like, I can't do that. But I'm like. If you look at what mm -hmm. goes into the guitar, they actually have cross sections of their guitar. Like they've taken yeah. a guitar and cut it in half. Yeah. One of their beautiful McPherson's, they cut yeah. it in half. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they just didn't finish building it. But either way, who knows? The inside there's of the guitar. A, there's half a McPherson. There's half a McPherson in, in this case. <laughs> and this is what the coolest thing to me was. You see this guitar and you see what they did to it, and they're like, nobody is ever going to see this again. Once yeah. we box it up. Yeah. No one's going to see it unless they break a guitar or yeah. whatever. Pencil marks, not allowed. Glue, not allowed. Yeah. Like, it needs to look like it's just as beautiful as the outside. Like, they sand the and finish the inside of the guitar. Yeah. yeah. And then, the cool thing is this, is, this was like next level. They have a McPherson logo in the guitar. Oh, on the bottom? But like it's under reverse. The yeah, on the bottom. Image. Like, right where the bridge <laughs> is going to hit. And it's mirror image because... Most people, not most people, anybody who's going to look inside of a guitar, they're going to stick a mirror in there. People yeah, do that so for, to, to look at something. And the logo is in like, isn't it like Mother of Pearl too? Yeah. And it's so that crazy. way. So when you stick a mirror in there, like that level of detail, yeah. you will be able to see the McPherson logo. And like for me, I saw that and I was like, I get it now. Yeah. I get it. Like yeah. that one thing was like, I get it. Well, that plus the fact when you pick one up and strum a chord. Yeah, that, that'll do it too. Sound you've that'll do it too. Life. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we and and here's another thing about McPherson that really, um, that really resonated with us is they have a, 
a big heart for the praise and worship community. Big heart for like, missions. Yeah, for missions. The founder, Matt McPherson, we were talking with some of their... That we got to meet him and play some guitar with him, which that was, was really cool. cool. But we were talking with some people who work with him, and they just, you know, all they talk about with, with, with Matt, Mr. McPherson, is like his heart is for missions, and everything he does is to... So that he personally can pour his resources into the mission field, which was was really cool but um a lot of the people who work at McPherson also like serve on worship teams in their churches and that mm-hmm. kind of thing and so they really do have a heart for uh for churches and they also get it that like you know the average working musician isn't going to buy a $10,000 guitar who's playing in church which is why they built these and so the uh the carbon fiber guitars is really cool we were we we toured the um the, the the factory where they make wood guitars, we walk through a door, and there they are building the carbon fiber guitars. And it's the same people. In fact, they said they, they had to take one of their best wood guitar luthiers and bring him over to the carbon fiber. And he, like, they hand-shaped the neck mm-hmm. on the carbon. Every every neck is hand-done. Yeah. You know, That's and nuts. that kind of thing. And so the carbon fiber guitars are made right alongside the wood guitars by the same people the same standard of excellence applies with that different and process, far, obviously. Yeah, it's a, but different same material. standard of excellence. Mm-hmm. And so, and and those are far more affordable for you know the average working musician. Uh, yeah, but we just really enjoyed our time out in uh, Sparta, Wisconsin, getting to see and play. In our opinion, the greatest acoustic guitars in the world. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Now. <laughs> You're thinking too much about it. After we left, I'd like I couldn't like I was just. I was on cloud nine. Like, it, it was, was so the most good. amazing thing. And I've just had this, I, I can't explain it. I've had this draw to, to Redwoods, the Sequoias. Um, oh, and yeah. getting you to play one of those, like, their guitars. Those like, are the, that's the, trees, almost, the trees in California. The tree, yeah, the big, yeah. the big, like, yeah, uh, Endor, where the Ewoks are. And all that was where that was yeah. filmed. Yeah. Um, I got to play one of those things, and I was just like, oh, my. There was just something about them. Yeah. Um, you know, so this is really well, cool. The, Lots of that that tone wood that wood sounds it's and we were talking with matt McPherson, we would be here for a lot and he was like i love the sound of redwood it's my yeah. favorite mm-hmm. and so we played some and the guy has a good ear yeah <laughs> we, we're yeah. smitten yes they were very very good thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the vlog we didn't even talk about the fact that our airplane the fiasco <laughs> you caught a little bit of it in the video but it, getting there was a little bit of a of a hassle but uh we've left links below for mcpherson guitars uh so you can check out more about their guitars the carbon fiber line the wood line wood guitar line uh, they also, we didn't do a proper like factory tour video, but there are some online and so I've linked to those as well. As far as I understand, the factory is still, they're still in the same facility and still use the same processes as that video that I have seen, which is a few years old at this point. And then also when we were there, if you've been following on our Instagram, check that out, Worship Tutorials. Um, we did some videos with them and made some content that's coming out um, that we're releasing, they're releasing. So follow them on Instagram yeah. as well so you can just see what we did because we had a blast. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.